Today we are talking with Paulina Poplaska, the new director of the Salem South Lyon District Library here in South Lyon. Welcome, Paulina. Thank you for having right. me. Well, first of all, let's start with introduction. Sure. Obviously, you're new to yes. the library here. Mm -hmm. First time we've interviewed you and spoken with you. So mm -hmm. let's just start there. Tell us about, a little bit about yourself and what brought you here to the Salem South Lyon District Library. Okay. Um, so I have been in this role for about three months now. I was a library director in New Ulm, Minnesota for about three years. And I came back here to um, the area to be closer to family. I'm originally from Michigan, the Detroit area. And I'm a Michigan State grad, Wayne State for my library science degree, and have been a librarian for about 15 years. I started after I finished library school in Detroit. I ended up moving out to Southwest Kansas, where I was a librarian for about seven years. Um, was interim library director for a time. I moved back to Michigan for a couple of years and was uh, a head librarian, branch manager at the Capital Area District Libraries. And um, when the position opened up in Minnesota, I went out there, I had some family, um, friends, uh, and stayed there um, for a little bit, which was a great experience. And when this position opened up, um, I couldn't resist um, applying for it. Like I mentioned, it's closer to family, um, friends, and um, the community support here um, is wonderful. The library board and staff have been great to work with so far. So it's such a community hub yep. um, that, like I said, I couldn't pass up the opportunity great, to work great. here. Well, what's, what's been one of your favorite things having come into a library like this, mm -hmm. perhaps compared to other libraries just more broadly or ones that you've worked at before? Mm -hmm. What kind of makes this library a bit more special as well? The, uh, the community, community support has been outstanding. We have a very dedicated friends group here who maintain our garden and gardens, a volunteer in our book room, um, and advocate for the library, which was, has been created. It's one of the most active um, friends groups I've been fortunate to work with. So um, besides that, I mean, just the community has been out outstanding. Right. Well, obviously the facilities here have been great. I was the expansion mm -hmm. yes. went in a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I know we've also, uh, in the back now, a pavilion has been going up. So talk a little bit about the pavilion there in the back. Uh, sure. So it's um, our friends pavilion. The project actually started back out oh, the library started talking about um, doing something in the backgrounds over here back in 2017. Um, so we are very excited for all the future programming and events that we'll be able to conduct in the Friends Pavilion. Um, we're very thankful that the library board was very supportive of the project and the Friends were both um, very supportive um, in their financial support. Mm -hmm. um, they have donated over forty-five thousand wow. dollars over the Perfect. last five years. So, like I mentioned, they're they're very involved. They're, they 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 are an amazing support for us. Um, so, like I said, they've graciously donated a lot of money over Good. the years um, towards the purchase and installation of Good. the pavilion. Excellent. Well, we know it's not just about facilities, you know, a building and a pavilion in the back. Mm -hmm. Most certainly there's lots of great events that are constantly going on here at the library. Mm -hmm. It seems like there's just a plethora yes. of stuff you we just can't have. keep on top of yep. anything. So let's just jump in and talk to some of those events that you have coming up. Sure. So we have a couple um, events that are coming up. Um, we have the Michigan Science Center on March 29th, and they will be conducting a program called the uh, Kaboomistry. Kaboomistry. I know, this sounds very a, interesting. A, a great a title. So it's um, for children's kindergarten to fifth grade. You can call the library for more details and then to sign up. But they'll explore and learn the relationship between um, pressure, temperature, and um, fuel to um, kind of figure out why things explode. Hopefully there's some warm <laughs> temperatures involved. Obviously there's an explosion. Right, Maybe there right. are. But that's very cold outside <laughs> right. right now. So we have yeah. that event going 
going on? What else do we have going on here? So we'll have um, Anthony Williams here on Monday, April 18th. Um, he will be presenting um, Morel Mushroom Picking with okay. the Champ. Mm. So he'll be sharing tips for how to find the elusive moral and um, as well as different folktale and his experience um, picking over the years. He's been doing this for about, I believe, 68 years. Now, does that involve, because I believe Morel Mushrooms, like, can't pigs smell the scent of Morel Mushrooms? I believe or so, yes. Maybe you have to come and find out mm-hmm. a bit more about right. beyond, mm-hmm. beyond yourself just walking aimlessly through the woods. Right. What are those tools in place to be able mm-hmm. to track down some Morel Mushrooms? Yes. So that sounds So I'm excited delicious. because I, I love mushrooms, but I've never tried picking, so I think it'll be a very informative um, up program for people who are interested. Excellent. Yeah. All right, well, there's mm-hmm. two events down right there, mm-hmm. so obviously there's more going on. So there what's the event is, number three? Um, so our uh, third event, we will be having um, a document treading again um, this year, which is great. That will be Saturday, May 14th from 10 to 1. And um, as in previous years, there will be a four box per car limit. Okay. Um, you can always call the library for more details. Um, and all of our events are listed on our website, ssldl.info, um, in our events calendar. So um, yeah. like you've mentioned, we have a lot of different programs happening um, throughout the month. Um, so. You can check out what we have. Good, good. Any other events you wanted to highlight this time? Um, let me think. Well, um, a summer reading will be coming up. Oh, summer yeah, sounds good. Yeah. I mean, for how cold of winter it's been, I'm definitely yes. looking forward to summer. So mm-hmm. it's always been a very popular program here. It is. So talk a little yes. bit about that. So sign up starts um, June 18th, um, and for everyone who signs up, that includes adults. Um, they have a chance to get a free book oh, at sign up. And also the more you read, the more chances uh, you get to enter for prizes and things like that. Um, and then obviously you can call the library for details. We will have more information on our um, website as well as the date and years. So that's June 18th. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> and actually we're, we're open right now. There's yes, we are. In the background. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about where we are right now from a restrictions perspective. Mm-hmm. Is there a time limit for how much time you can be here? What's, what's, where, where are we right now with that? No, we don't have any time restrictions. Um, um, we are currently open Monday to Thursday, um, 10 to 7, Friday and Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sundays, 1 to 5. Okay, excellent. Mm-hmm. excellent. Yeah, and like I said, no, no restrictions in the computer lab or um, to be in the library. We do offer for those who would be more interested in outdoor programming, we do still offer one outdoor story time um, okay. every week. Um, so you can check, like I said, check out the calendar to see what we have available. So Good. if someone is hesitant to come in, um, we do offer some options. Different things that are the library board will be looking at our strategic plan um, okay. this year um, just to revisit what we're doing. And um, any thoughts about what strategic elements are going to come in place at all, or is that um, going to be yet to be determined? Yet to be determined. Okay. We'll be talking about just how to revamp our current one, um, see where what, what direction we'd like to go, and. Um, our next mailer will have um, library services survey okay. just to see what kind of tech um, options that we should. And that will go to the community then? To the community, okay. yeah. So we'll have a survey available more than likely in March okay. just to kind of get a feel for what people are interested, what our patrons are interested in seeing in the library in terms of technology. We'll be doing different segments of library services um, over the next year or two. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Paulina, it's been great speaking with you yeah. this evening. Your first official Spotlight yes. South Lion. <laughs> Thank you so Welcome. much. Welcome, and I look forward to speaking with you again to find out what else is happening here at the South Lion District Library. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Bye.